Hello everyone. So in previous videos, I have given you a proper and thorough analysis of previous year UGC NET question papers, which was regarding the paper two and the paper three. Now in this video, I am going to give you a thorough analysis of UGC NET July 2018 question paper, because the pattern has changed this year. That is why it was important for us to analyze what are the changes that you have observed in 2018 question papers as compared to before. And this is only one of a kind analysis because no one has ever done this kind of analysis for um, in terms of videos. So I think you will not find this kind of content anywhere else. This kind of content is only available with us because we are uh, we are creating all the content by analyzing the previous year question papers only. So uh, the this is the paper two analysis which was for July two thousand sixteen. As you can see, we are this is July two thousand sixteen, August two thousand sixteen examination. June 2015, December 2015, June 2014, and December 2014. So we have taken the previous year question papers of UGC NET examination. Now, in these previous year question papers, I have taken all the subjects that came in the paper two. This is about the paper two, and we have seen that total six percent questions came from digital logic. Fifteen point six seven percent question came from programming data structures and algorithm. We have 2.33 percent questions from theory of computation. In operating system, we got 9.66 percent. Architecture, we got 2.33 percent, and so on. So we have already given this analysis before. So you can check out this analysis um, in this video. Also, you can pause this video to get this analysis. Uh, this is a total thorough subject-wise analysis, which is about what is the number of questions you got from a particular subject in the past. Now, this unique subject here, uh, as you can see, this unique subject. It is generally a part of operating system. So generally, uh, I've counted the unique subject uh, separately here. But when you study operating system, now this is just a case study of the operating system. So uh, every year we are going to expect at least one question, exactly only one question from Unix, because that is just a case study of operating systems. Okay. So this year also only one question came from Unix. Now this is the paper three analysis for. July two thousand sixteen, August two thousand sixteen, June two thousand fifteen, December two thousand fifteen, June two thousand fourteen, and December two thousand fourteen. So this is the paper three analysis. Paper three analysis. As you can see, the uh, percentage of questions that came from a particular subject that has changed. For example, here HTML and XML. This is actually web technology subject. So from web technology, we got one point seven seven percent questions. Computer graphics initially, previously we got 12% questions, 12.5%. Artificial intelligence and fuzzy logic we got 2.22%. And we have programming languages, which is op uh, object-oriented programming, which contains C++ as well as Java. So we got 5.77% questions and so on. So you can check this thorough analysis here. Now what has changed in uh, 2018? So the main a video i mean the main topic of this video is a thorough analysis of 2018 question paper because uh, we have only paper 2 now we don't have paper 3 so this is a thorough analysis about the questions that came from a particular subject now here you can see in a discrete mathematics i have given so many questions but actually the, in discrete mathematics i added two subject which is discrete mathematics plus artificial intelligence because the proposition logic part of artificial intelligence proposition logic and predicate logic of ai that can be counted in uh, discrete mathematics subject so this discrete mathematics subject is containing some questions from ai also okay now you can see from digital logic subject uh the total number of question came uh, is around seven questions so which is approximately 7% and it has not changed comparatively there's no huge change so it is same as before from programming data structures and algorithm again in the past also see generally what used to happen in paper 2 we used to have 50 questions and paper 3 we used to have 75 questions and here uh, we have written the percentage of questions that came from a particular subject Now you can see there is no huge change in uh, programming data structures algorithm. It is exactly the same. Now uh, in theory of computation, there are nine questions that they have asked, so it is similar to the previous case also. From operating system, they have asked nine questions. From computer architecture plus microprocessor, in total they have asked total three questions because uh, they have asked very few questions from computer architecture, which is approximately two questions only this time. So. 
something like this now in compiler design uh, compiler design they asked only one question so generally compiler design is counted with theory of computation because if you study theory of computation they definitely are going to study compiler design but still they only asked one question in compiler design this time so the percentage of questions that they asked from this subject has dropped now in dbms they are asking nine questions so which is similar to before only in computer networks and network security so i have added two portions here network security and computer networks now this network security is a part of computer networks you can also study network security separately but uh, we are going to consider network security as a part of computer networks only and they are asking a total of eight questions so there is no huge changes here also in discrete mathematics as you can see we got 14 questions and there is no huge changes here also because that was totally expected the only change that we got that was a huge change is that we did not get caught any question from data mining so they have not asked any question from data mining this year in software engineering we got around 10 questions there is no huge change in unix we got one question there is no huge change uh, because obviously we are going to get one question because it is a case study so it is a case study of operating system right so obviously we are going to get only one question from this and uh, then we have object oriented programming now this oops programming also contains java so java plus c and c plus uh, we got three questions here this time uh, that is from java and then maths and linear programming we got two questions so there's no huge change as compared to before okay in computer graphics we got three questions so there's a huge change the number of questions has dropped in terms of computer graphics they only ask very few questions so this computer graphics contain computer graphics and you can say image processing so very few questions asked from computer graphics and image processing in artificial intelligence they asked uh, three questions here uh, which is again no huge change because we combined uh, some portions from discrete mathematics and art artificial intelligence here which is related to uh, predicate logic and then from my computing only two questions is asked which is good and one of these questions actually uh, you can compare that question from computer networks subject only so if i roughly categorize this one then only one question has asked from mobile computing in web technology they asked two questions which is not a huge change so there is only one huge change here that they have not given any question from data mining otherwise uh, the number of questions that you are getting that is very similar to the previous case only okay now this is just for this year analysis from every subject i have given you what is the percentage of questions they have asked for uh, this year and the, the red ones are showing that uh, uh, you can leave this subject maybe uh, because uh, these subjects they have not asked any question from these subjects or very few questions they have asked from these subjects and green ones are saying that uh, you can give less emphasis to this because I mean you can give emphasis to them but uh, they are asking very few questions from this as you can see but the black subjects you cannot leave this subject you cannot leave digital logic you cannot leave programming data structures theory of computation operating system DBMS computer networks discrete mathematics and software engineering so these subjects came in front so these were the major subjects which uh, consisted what what is the percentage of question paper that they are cons consisting that is 7 plus 7 14 plus 9 plus 9 plus uh, 9 plus 8 plus 8 plus 14 plus 10 so this is total 28 plus 10 is 38 38 plus uh, 93 is 27 27 plus 16 plus 7 so you can count it out so that is uh, nearly if you calculate this value what will be this value let me just calculate it this one so that is nearly 88 percent okay so your 88 percent question paper just came from these subjects only so you can consider these subject as one of the major subjects only so if let us say the cutoff percentage goes to around 55 to 60 percent now you can clearly see that if, even if you prepare these subjects only then you can clear the UGC net examination just by preparing these subjects because these are the major and most important subject for the examination okay I hope that this analysis was helpful for you and if you want to take video lectures because uh, we do all the thorough analysis for every year question papers and we make our study material according to the thorough analysis also for example this year also I'm going to update my video lectures according to the questions that we got and according to the question papers that we got so to make it the best material that is available online so if you want to take classroom coaching or if you want to take video lectures for UGC net examination then you can call us or whatsapp on this on this number or you can just email us on this number okay so uh, we are uh, launching the next uh, classroom batch for UGC net from 5th of August so 5th of August is an important date you can uh, note it down 
Uh, if you want to take the classroom batch for UGC in it, then the batch will be in Delhi. Uh, that will be from 5th of August. And if you cannot attend the classroom coaching, they can you can take the video lectures from us. Right. So if you like the video, then please like the but uh, video, uh, hit the like button as well as comment as so that we can get more information, more insight from your comments only. Okay. And thank you so much for watching this video.